Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Pisces their weekly love read. Pisces, this is for the week of February 14th through the 20th, so happy Valentine's Day, guys. Um, we're doing something a little bit different. It's going to be a pile. It's going to be. There is going to be a pile for singles, for those who are involved, and then for those who are separated. In the separated pile, this could be someone who is in a legal separation. It could be someone who's on a break in a relationship, or it could be for soul lovers in separation. So pick which pile um, suits your situation the best. Um, these are general reads, so please take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest. Um, if you are interested in a personal read, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to my page for you to get one. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and watching. I do appreciate um, I do do appreciate your um, your support, guys. Sorry. All right, let's let's get going here. <laughs> I think I think I said everything I was supposed to say. Just mostly thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this read. All right, guys. So we are going to get started. So for Pisces who are single, I feel like Pisces something is going to come up totally unexpected. I think someone is coming towards you in love um, that you are not going to be prepared for, that you are not going to see coming. It could be, um, it's just going to be something completely unexpected. It's going to blow your world up. You're going to not expect this with the tower. This person is coming in with mental clarity. This is a new start with mental clarity. This person for sure knows what they want. They are, they are, They've thought everything about the situation and how it could be, what how it could go, what do they want. They have mental clarity and they are coming to offer you a stable, loyal, committed, new start in love um, with mental clarity. So this person is coming towards you. They know what they want. Um, it's going to be totally, totally, totally unexpected. But I feel like this they've kind of thought it out. So I'm pretty sure it's probably someone you know. I just don't know if it's someone you think is going to... Um, come tell you and express their love for you. Um, we're going to get some love vibe cards from King of Aloha. These are messages for the singles. Um, let's be friends first, and then in parentheses it says romantic. There's another card that says let's be friends first, and then in parentheses it says platonic. So I think this is someone who you think you're just friends with, um, but they have definite romantic feelings for you. I will wait for you forever. I'm serious about this. Yes, I think this person has really kind of thought everything through and they're like, you know what? Pisces is who I want. Pisces is who I want. So I'm going to uh, have this new start with them. I'm clear in my mind. I'm going to offer this, them this committed, loyal relationship or whatever, something ship. Um, and it's a pentacle. So it's committed and it's loyal. It's not just someone who is looking to kind of hook up and move along. So nice. All right. For those who are involved, I feel like, um, I feel like there's a bit of boredom here. I feel like, uh, this could be a missed opportunity card, but I feel like it's also a card of boredom. So if you're involved with someone, um, I think the relationship might be a little bit boring, but relationships go through those phases, right? So don't freak out. This is definitely a person who is, um, wanting to be a teammate, wanting to make the situation work, willing to put in the work it takes to build this relationship and continue this relationship. And it will be a victorious relationship. Love will conquer all in this relationship. So I feel like um, maybe it's even like, so it could be a missed opportunity. So if you're with somebody and you feel like it's a missed opportunity, perhaps you're hoping that the relationship will level up. Um, and you're willing to, you know, your person's willing to put the work in or they're hoping, I'm sorry, because this is what is coming towards you. Perhaps your person feels like there's been a missed opportunity um, and they're looking to level up or hoping to level up with you. They are willing to put this work in and this situation will, it will be victorious. Love will conquer all. Sorry. All right. So we're going to get a couple of white rose guidance, divine love messages for Pisces who are involved. I can never say it, but I do love you. I miss your sunshine in my life so much. So I feel like, um, I feel like if you're involved, I mean, I hope you guys are saying I love you. Um, if you're not, um, I think your person struggles to say I love you. Um, 
but they do want you in their life and they miss you so much. So perhaps, you know, perhaps this relationship just kind of hit like a growing pain because you guys are involved. It will be victorious. He will work through things. Um, but I feel like with this board or missed opportunity card, four cups, um, and then missing the sunshine, I feel like maybe you guys have hit a rough patch, but it will, it will be okay. It will be, it will be victorious moving forward. All right, Pisces. So those of you who are in soul separation or separated from their person, um, what's coming towards you? Your person's been watching you. Um, your person keeps tabs on you the best that they can. Uh, and this isn't like a crazy, creepy stalker. This is more like someone who watches your social media, someone who, if they live in close proximity, might drive by your house uh, just to catch a glimpse of you, but not like Joe or whatever. I've never watched that show, but I think he's like a stalker murderer guy. Not creepy, just uh, curiosity and, and gathering information like... Is there a car there? Is there someone else living there? Do they still live there? I think this person might be asking friends of friends about you, perhaps. Definitely keeping tabs on you from a distance and gathering information. This person's really been working on their pentacles and finances and getting stable. They're coming back around um, to offer you a, a new start in love. They want to be with you. They have this love for you. They are Their cup is overflowing with love. They love you. They love you. They love you. They love you. They want a new start with you. They've been working on their finances and stabilizing themselves. And of course, kind of keeping tabs on you. But they definitely want to be with you. Um, let's get a couple of cards from you have my heart, soul lovers, and soul lovers in separation from Angelic 144. Oh my gosh, Angelic Revelation 144. Sorry, Pisces. I feel like sometimes you guys get to short end of the stick. My brain is like fried by the time I'm done with all the signs. And I usually do you last. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have. I write you messages, then delete them because I just don't know what to say. I'm so sorry because I know that my silence is hurting you. I am healing and trying to find my strength to be honest with you about how I truly feel. Yeah, I do feel your person is stabilizing. During our separation, our love has only grown stronger. I long to see you again and unite as one. Yes, they definitely want to come back around. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this read. Um, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all your support. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. And until next time, take care, okay? Bye-bye.